Hello everyone and welcome back to Above All Creations where we're catering to the sweet tooth in you. How's everybody doing? It's a beautiful day here. It's a Thursday afternoon. The weather has broke. It's almost 70 degrees outside guys. So get out there. Get some of this fresh air. Okay, so today we are working on a two-tier cake. It's an anime character design and it's also blue and black. Okay, so we're going to start off by covering our boards. I got three corrugated boards. They are 10 inch boards. We're going to put them all together. And if you guys have been with me before, you probably have seen this step. And if you're new here, welcome. Welcome. We're starting from the beginning with covering the boards and then we're going all the way to the end. Okay, so I'm just taking the tape and taping all three of the boards together. You could actually take hot glue if you wanted to hot glue them together as well. So we get all three boards together. Now we're gonna take our full wrap and it's a two for one. You get gray on one side or should I say silver and you get black on the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead and go with the silver design because it has the silver side because it has some silver accents on the cake, okay? So let's get this board covered. And all we do, all I do is just lay, lay the board right on top of the foil wrap. And then I just kind of cut it to its shape. Since it's a circle board, we just kind of making it circular. And the scraps, you know, I just throw it away. Right over here in my garbage bowl. Okay, now it doesn't matter what side, if we use this side or this side, it doesn't matter. And just so you know, these are grease proof boards. If you're looking for boards to buy in bulk, I'll put it down in the description box where I actually get mine from. So now what we're going to do is just go ahead, uh-oh, silver side. Now we're just going to go ahead and just go around the board with our tape, just taping it up. Now, I will tell you guys that this in particular wrap that I'm using today is kind of thin, so be careful when you're going around with it because it could tear. You won't have to take it off. You just have to put a you know, a piece of tape right in that spot. Now, also, all I'm doing is just making a drum, you know? So you know how you go to, you know, Michael's, Hobby Lobby's, your local cake supply store, and um, buy the drums? This is all this is. I'm just making drums. I'm just used to making them. Uh, I've been making them for several years. Um, it's a little bit more affordable this way. Save you a few coins. And this is something that you can do in advance. You know, you, you already got your cake orders. You know what you're going to do. You know what color your cakes are going to be. Just go ahead in the earlier part of the week and just get them covered, set them to the side until it's time to use them. You know, if you got children or whatnot, I know us home bakeries at home. You know, me, myself, I'm married. I have a husband, I have children, and I have a business to run. So things can get, you know, kind of hectic sometimes. So if you get a chance, whatever you can, take the time and actually do something earlier, it works out great for you in the end. Okay, so one more piece here. All right, so we got the board all covered, okay? Silver board. Corrugated boards is cheap, like pennies, and the full wrap is about 10 bucks. You know, it'll last for several. Like I said, you get two different colors. All right, so we got that covered. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our buttercream. I make this buttercream from scratch. Right before I get started on my weekend orders, we're gonna put a little bit of buttercream down. That's our glue. Now, I'm going to be working with 7-inch and 5-inch circles. This cake is feeding 15 people. So, I'm doing a, um, two double layers, a double layer on the bottom, a double layer on the top, 7-inch and 5-inch, okay? Now, I already got the cakes here. And if you want to know, they're already cut out. And if you want to know how I do that, you could just reach back, like, at least a couple videos back, and you'll see exactly how I cut the cakes out. I make all my cakes in sheet cakes, and then I cut them into whatever 
circle shape or anything they should be or I carve them out of sheet cakes is just easier for me so I went ahead and just took care of that step so we could just get ahead with it so I've already cut them out of sheet cakes we're doing vanilla cakes so I have one seven inch layer we're going to put that down flat side down you know we got to put our simple syrup on it simple syrup recipe will be in the description box I'm just going to rub it in a little bit some buttercream on. Now, when you're putting this buttercream on, you could actually use a bag and go around that way, or you could just plop it on, kind of like what I'm doing here. Spread that out. Then we're going to take our other seven inch that we have here. Now, this one, you know, has a little bit of a dome on it, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the dome off. Remember I told you guys, the domes of the cake, um, when you, once you cut out the cakes, like I cut this whole cake out of a one half sheet vanilla cake. I got two sevens and two fives. So all of that cake that was left around, I'm using that for cake pops, um, push pops, or anything else that I need cake before. Never throw your scraps away because it's money going down the drain. So now we're going to take this, turn this side down. A bit of our parchment paper. Make sure it's centered. We're going to go ahead and put our simple syrup on. With the simple syrup, it's a must for me. You know, the cake is already delicious, it's already flavorful, and everything else. All I do is, you know, it's just an extra step that keeps it moist, more moist, I should say, and just adds more flavor, makes it more delicious. So we're gonna get the buttercream on, and all we're doing right now is crumb coating it, okay? So you can, like I was saying earlier, you could take your bag and just go around the cake and do it that way. Or me, I just pile a little bit of extra icing right on the top. And then I just take all my icing from the top. And then if I need more, I just get more off the bucket. Okay. Now I'm going to take my scraper and just go around it and just seal those crumbs in. Get the crumbs off the board. See some areas where I could use a little bit more buttercream. And I'm using an American buttercream. It's a crusted buttercream. I love it. I've been using it for almost 14 years now. If you're new in the game, or if you're advanced and you've been in the game for years and you just need a little bit of help, trust me, I know, and you want to save some time, you can purchase buttercream for me. You could just hit me up, email me. We sell them in half gallon and gallon buckets. They come in all the colors and they also come in white. You could just email me and I'll get them shipped out to you. Okay, we almost got it all. Got one little spot right here. Okay. Go around for this last go round. Gonna do it a little slow here. Boom. Need a little bit of 
extra buttercream right here. All right, now that's our bottom tier all set up. So now we're gonna take this and just put it over to the side here. Now we're gonna take our other corrugated board and this is also a 10 inch corrugated board and all I'm gonna do is cut around it and make it smaller when I get ready to put it on the top tier. So we're gonna take our spatula, put our buttercream down as our glue. And then we're gonna take both our five inches. We're gonna put flat side down, simple syrup. Rub that in. Okay. And we're gonna do our center with our buttercream. Got a little more than I want here, so I'm just gonna sit it right on the side of the board. Take a little bit more off. My hand was a little heavy with that one. Now, we're gonna take our other five inch cake, flat side down, a little bit more of our simple, get that rubbed in. And guys, I am working on frozen cakes, just so you know. Now that little bit that we had on the side, we just gonna take it and put it on the top. I need a little bit more. And then I just pull from my top. You could do this with a small spatula or you could do this with the size spatula that I'm using. I normally have uh, my smaller spatulas out here with me too. They work really good for these smaller size um, cakes up top. But when I was setting up guys, I didn't bring it out here so we're going to do it without it. It'll be on the next ride. Okay. So, get this all crumb coated. All right. Now we're going to take our scraper. Go around the sides, lock in all of these crumbs. Just gonna rub my crumbs right here on the side of my bowl. Okay. So what do you guys do when you're doing your crumb coats? Do you take, do you do it with a small spatula or do you use a bigger size spatula? Which one works for you with your scraper when you're doing your crumb coats? I typically, I'll use both, whatever I have here with me. Okay. Now, we got our seven inch and our five inch um, cake ready. Now, what I'm gonna do is take these cakes, put them both in the fridge, let them set up. Like I said, I'm using a crusting buttercream and it takes about 10 minutes. And crusting just pretty much means is that once I touch this cake and look at my finger, there won't be any buttercream on it. It's crusted up or you could say hardened if, you know. So I'm gonna take these put them in the fridge for about 10 minutes. And while those are in the fridge, I'm gonna get my blue color made and I'm gonna get my black bag ready. Cause like I said, this is a blue and a black cake, okay? So let me get these cakes in the fridge, get all my crumbs and everything cleaned up here. And then I'll be right back guys. And we'll put on the finishing color and finish up the decorations. Okay guys, I got everything cleaned up. The cakes have been chilled 
for a few minutes. Now, let's get the final coat on it. Now, the bottom cake, we're actually gonna do that in our black color. I've got some black mixed up here, and I also have some blue mixed up. So let's go ahead, get the black on our bottom. And if you are worried about the flavor or anything when you're making black icing, if you're making it, well, my recipe is foolproof. I've been using black icing for years. Now, I did tell you guys that the fastest way to get color on your cake is to use the airbrush machine. So if you wanted to airbrush, all you would have to do, because we only have a crumb coat, is put one more coat of your white, or you can even do it like a dim black or gray. That, won't, that way you won't have to use so much color. And then just go ahead, put that... You know that that one more coat on if you decided to do it gray or black whichever um color you picked even if it was white do that put one more coat on then after you get that coat on go ahead and airbrush your cake and airbrush it black fastest way to get color on your cake but with my buttercream icing because there's real butter in it it's not like a shortening base icing it doesn't change the flavor. So I've never had any complaints about the flavor. And if you taste it, it tastes the same way. All those deep, rich colors, those blacks, those purples, those blues, taste the same. It doesn't, my icing flavor doesn't change. So if you get you a good icing base, a good buttercream, you don't have to worry about when you use those rich reds and purples and blues. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, it not tasting right anymore because you used one of those. All right now, so we're getting our black, our black icing on the bottom. I see a little area here where I could use a little bit more. I'm gonna go around, take a little bit of this icing off the board. Now with this cake, we're gonna be putting some actual anime pictures going around the cake. So right around the bottom layer. Okay, we're gonna go around a few more times here. Make sure it's smooth and pretty. Wiping my extra right there on the side. Now I'm just gonna slow my turning down because when I do that, in my mind, that means we are done. Slow it down just a little bit. A little bit of black on my hands. That's okay. And if you ain't making a mess, you ain't really decorating because decorating is messy, guys. Okay. A little spot over here. Right? Uh oh, one little. All right. All right, that's that OCD. It won't let me quit. Wipe the spatula off. happy with that so now we're just going to pull from the top now this is that part remember I told you guys that if you 
want those really sharp crispy edges of course these are going to be sharp anyway but like right now how we went around and some of the icing has moved up to the top there see all that icing around at the rim at the top you could take this right now and take the cake and go put it in the fridge wait about 15 minutes come back and just go around and scrape sh scrape scrape off and it'll be crispy and clean for you but you can also if you don't got time for that, you need to move on, just pull your sides in, okay? Now, typically, like what I'm doing, sometimes I'll take the spatula and do the whole top. Just keep going until I pull it in the whole top of the sides. But if you're a beginner, don't do that. Just go in, take it, wipe, take it, wipe. Just keep doing it and wipe after each one. Don't do what I'm doing and just go all the way around, get them all. Let me go in the middle just a little bit because I could tell there's a lot of icing right there in the center. And I can see a little white spot, put a little black there, get that spot together. Boom. Bring it in just a little bit. All right. Take any icing off the board. All right. So now all I'm going to do is take my wet cloth and I'm going around the board to clean it up with any other black icing, any residue that's on the board because this is the part that you definitely want to do to make sure your cake looks professional. Do not skip wiping off your board and just go ahead and put your border on and just start decorating because it looked like like exactly what you did, like you missed the spot, okay? So, all right, so we got all the black off our board. We got our bottom tier done. Now I'm just gonna sit it right over here to the side. Then we're gonna take our top tier and our top tier is the blue. Pop on our blue. Take our spatula and go ahead and get our blue in. Okay. Get this one done. Then we can get to the good part, the stacking and the decorating. We all know the decorating. That's the fun part. Scrape here off to the side. We're gonna take this one and go around and get this blue smoothed out. This size cake is the smallest size cake that I actually do. So this is the smallest two tier that you can get from me. So this is the smallest one that I'll do at all. Um, and then they go up from this size. This one feeds 15 people. I'm just covering up and a little bit more icing because I see holes around the cake. So it's easier for me to just add a little bit more icing, close those holes up, and then just go around with my spatula and smooth it. see a little area right here where I went in a little bit too deep so it's a little bit of white I'm going to be putting a plaque on this cake and then it's going to have an anime picture um, sitting at the top so now we're going in 
and bringing that icing at the top, smoothing that, that part out. I'm gonna hit the sides one more time. Go a little slower this time. I see a little white area. Put a little bit. I'm not really fully concerned about that because they want gray, like splashes all around the cake. So you know how those splashes are. They're very pretty. And when you're a cake decorator, you got to know how to cover up any simple mistakes. That way you don't have to spend all day, you know, because nobody's perfect but God. It's the God in me. Okay, so let's go around. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Now we're going to hit the top one more good time. All right, now I'll clean up the board a little bit here, but we're gonna cut the board down so that it's the size of the cake when we put it on top. So now what I wanna do is because we're doing some anime pictures, I'll show you guys. I got an edible image that we're gonna be applying to the cake. See that? We're going to put one on the top of the cake and three going around the bottom. So, because I'm going to be applying them and I'm not going to be putting a buttercream back, I mean, I'm sorry, a fondant um, plaque on the back, I'm just adhering them to the cake. Let me look at them one more time because I might, I might go ahead and put the fondant plaque. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead put both of the cakes in the fridge, let them crust up for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna pull them out, we're gonna stack the cake, get the pictures on it, and finish the decorations, and then we'll be all done with this order and on to the next. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. We got the cakes in the refrigerator. They're cooling, so we'll be able to add our final pieces. Now we're gonna go ahead, cut the pictures out that we're applying around the sides. We're also gonna make a plaque for the cake to put happy birthday. So we're gonna make him a plaque, put happy birthday on it, get the pictures cut out because that's the only thing that's going on the cake. And then we're just putting a border around it and they want like some gray accents splashed on the cake. Okay, so. I got the anime pictures that I showed you earlier. I've already started cutting them out. There's four of them total. Now the bottom of the cake, being that it is black, I'm thinking that I think I want to go ahead and put the fondant pieces um, on the back of the cake. And that way, I won't have to worry about 
like the black or anything bleeding through the cake because you know how black is that that color is so just dark demanding commanding you know and being that the back of our picture has got like a white base so i want to go ahead and put the finding plaque on the back of each picture one of these pictures we're going to put on the top of the cake And all I did was just go on the internet, put in anime characters to find the pictures. That's it. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to go ahead and put the scraps in my garbage bowl. Okay, now... We're gonna sit them to the side and we're gonna go ahead and roll out some finding. Because the bottom is black, I wanna go ahead and the top is blue. I'm gonna give it a little bit of contrast and just go ahead and use, since we're, you know, just a another blue color, I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. Take my piece of cutter here and just cut a piece off. Okay. And I don't need much because we're just doing, matter of fact, I am going to need a little bit of a bigger piece because there's going to be a picture on top of the cake. And honestly, I would love to just put the picture up there, but then it'll just look like a picture up there. So because it's not like a custom, um, like topper you know i gotta make it look a little bit better so what i'm gonna do is make a thicker piece of this and put the picture on that that way it'll kind of have a little something going on on the top okay so hold on i i need to grab the fine not the find it i needed to get the um the powdered sugar Okay, and I get this powder sugar from Sam's Club. It come in a big, huge seven pound bag. And it's like $5 and some change. But y'all know the prices be going up and up and up. So don't quote me on that. Okay, now we got that. Now we're gonna take our finding. I got my small rolling pin today. And we are gonna roll it out. And I wanna roll it out big enough to go ahead and just get all four other pictures now. Okay. Now the one picture that I gotta do up top, I need it to be kind of thick. So we just gonna get the smaller ones first and then I'm gonna go come back in and get that one. And they asked for a buttercream cake. So most of my clients ask for a buttercream cake. So when they ask for a buttercream cake, I don't be trying to put, you know, I do tell them sometimes that, you know, it's gonna be some finer accents on it. It's, now this picture, um, this cake, I'm not freestyling it. They actually sent me a picture of this cake, okay? Now, what we gotta do is take those four pictures and then we need to pick which one we wanna put on the top. So, and I think this is the one. This is the one we are gonna put on the top. It's kinda small, but it's a small cake. So we're gonna put that one on the top and we're gonna take the other ones and like I said, I don't want a real thick piece of fondant. One thing, guys, I wanted to ask y'all, do y'all rather me come like I'm doing now and just talk to you guys step by step about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it? Or would you rather I just go ahead, walk through the videos, you still get to see everything, and then I just do a voiceover? telling you what I'm doing or you know would you rather me just you know talk it out in a video with you guys or it doesn't matter put it down in the comment section that way I'll know okay so let's get and all I do is just take the picture and lay it right on the find it hold my hand to you know hold it down and boom that way I'll get the right size and everything. Okay. Then I'm gonna take another spatula and 
just kind of scoop it up. Now it's the fondant plaque and we got the backer on it. Now when I get ready to hear it, all I'm gonna do is peel the paper off the back, put a little bit of buttercream on it and put it down and it'll hold right on the cake, no problem. So I'm gonna take the next picture, put it down. Okay, and we're gonna cut this one out. I don't necessarily care uh, about seeing any of the blue up under the picture or anything. I am only doing this just to make sure that the fondant, the black fondant at the bottom don't like seep through my pictures and it look kind of ugly or it turn it a black color or anything just to um, preserve the pictures because two of them have a black background but his face is white and if it starts like permeating it and then this one has a white background so if I use this one the black could actually go through and then it'll mess up the picture which make the cake look kind of bold so that's why I'm doing that because some of my cakes I just take you know the picture take the back off and just adhere it to the cake um, but when you're doing black or like some of those dark colors, it's cool to go ahead and do it this way. And then I'm using blue. Now, if a little bit of the blue peek out, I'm okay with that because that's one of the colors of our cake. Okay, now we got those three cut out. Now I'm going to roll out a little bit to the side. I'm going to roll out this one more time because... I want to get, let's see, up at top, it's going to be, we got black at the bottom, blue up top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, spread the powdered sugar around. I'm going to use this because remember I told you the picture up top, it's a picture just kind of sitting up top and I want to frame it out a little bit. That way it won't just look like, you know what I mean? Like just a picture. Maybe I'll take the whole thing because I need to take some skewers. Now this is one of those things that I was telling you about that you could actually make in advance. Okay, and that way it could have dried up a little bit. You could use a little Tylos powder, which is pretty much like a homemade gum paste, or you could use gum paste. With the Tylos powder, you could take the Tylos powder, pour some right in your fondant, and then just knead it in, and that'll turn your fondant into um, gum paste. So Tylos powder turns your fondant into gum paste and like hardens it. Or you could just get straight up gum paste, which will come in a bucket, just like our fondant. It'll just say gum paste, okay? And you could get that from your local cake store. You can get it. I don't know if they have that at Michael's. I don't think I've never seen that at Michael's. I don't know if I've ever seen it at Hobby Lobby, but I know you can get it from that place I told you about, decopack.com, or if you're here in the city, you can go up to Crummy's up on West 7 Mile, um, that cake store that I took you guys with me, and get um, gum paste from there. Okay, now I'm hoping that this piece that I got is thick enough, because I want it thick, but I don't want it so thick because we're just making it today that it ends up you know being too heavy for the cake so now we're going to take that picture that we're putting up top sit it right on it now with this one let's see i might need to do it the other piece yep i think yep i gotta do it one more time guys because with this one, I want it to be a frame. Like in those, I kind of cut it up to the picture because I didn't care if the picture showed from the back because in the picture that they gave me from the cake that they wanted, the people who did it, they didn't even put a fondant backer on the back of the cake, if I'm honest. They didn't do it. But I'm, but there, but the cake she sent me was a fondant cake. So, you know, it's fondant. You don't need a backer. You know what I mean? But me, I know how that black buttercream is. And since it's buttercream and not fondant, I'm using the backer. So with this one, since it's the top, and what I want to do is I'm either going to use just a stick. And these are sticks that I just use with my gum pops or cookies. 
or I'm gonna use this stick, which is a stick that I use like when I'm doing um, my cake stickles and stuff like that. Either one of those, I'm gonna use, stick it up in the finder to make it stand up so that we can get a frame for the picture. So I need it to be a certain thickness in order for that to work. So let's get that part done. And that's basically it. The whole cake is just pictures. After that, we just put a border on and we're done guys. Okay, so now I'm just cutting around and I'm cutting it a little wider because I want it to kind of have a frame around it. That way it'll make sense a little bit more. Now, if it was custom and everything and I had like other stuff connected to it, Y'all know, y'all see those custom cake toppers. Then I wouldn't have to do this because it would already be like framed out. So now with this, I'm just making it a little bit bigger so it'll have like a frame. Okay, so now let's go ahead. You know, you gotta keep your finding wrap. When you're done with it, put it away because it will dry out. Then you'll have to add crystal to it to make it more pliable for you. Okay, so now we're gonna take the picture off because we know it fits the frame. And now I need to decide if I'm gonna use this stick or the other one. So first, I'm gonna start with the other one. Just come down here. And then I'm just holding my hand right on top of the fondant. And I'm just gonna push the stick right up there. Okay, I only need a little bit out to actually go inside the cake. And I'm gonna take another one of the sticks and put it on the other, the opposite side. Push it in, keep your hand there. Okay, now I'm just gonna put my picture back on. Sometimes, you know, it's fine and it's fresh. So sometimes it'll stretch a little bit. So now I'm just kind of going back around it And just putting it kind of back in order. Okay, boom, so that part is done. And like I said, you can do this ahead and use, I'll just put that in my garbage bowl, it's only a little piece. So, now, this is what it looks like. It's got the sticks in the bottom. When you do this, hold on, you wanna make sure that your stick goes at least over half. So like the size of this, and if you can see it, see how it's kind of sticking out a little bit there? You can see it. I'm gonna put another piece of finding right there so you'll never know that happened. But you can see my stick is kind of almost at the top. You want it to go past half because this needs to stand up. It needs to hold its own if that makes sense. So. What I'm gonna do is that little piece that I put over here in the bowl. Now, with something like this, you wanna wet it. So this is just my lemon that I'm gonna be using with the um, silver luster dust later. And because I don't have any water at the table, I'm just gonna use a dash of this. Dip my finger in it, put it right there at the stick part because find it like, sticks to what's wet. Okay, so it, it'll stick to itself if it's wet or water or whatnot. And that's all I'm basically doing with the lemon. Although lemon does dry fast. And I'm just putting, putting that little piece of fondant, wetting it, putting it right back in that place. Okay. And then I'm just going to run my, my finding smoother over the little bit. It ain't the prettiest thing, but this is the back of the cake. And when I'm done, you'll see. I'll show you. Because I can paint it, put splashes on it, different things like that. That way, it'll be. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the picture and put it back on there. And just make sure. A little bit of buttercream. Make sure the picture is still looking good make sure it's still framed and that's 
that's good. Just gonna hand touch it just a little bit. All right, boom. So I'm fine with that. So I'm just gonna move it to the side. It has powdered sugar on the back so it won't stick to the table. Not to mention, it's a marble table, and normally I don't have any problems with anything sticking to it. I make all of my um, my pieces and everything here, and it works real good for me. Okay, now let's go and get the cake and hear all the pieces, because like I said, it's just a picture cake. It's just pictures going around the bottom, a picture on top, a border. Oh, I'm sorry, I got one more thing to make. Now, up top, I got some black fondant here. And actually, this black fondant is the Wilton brand. Um, and I actually use this brand. Sometimes I get it. I actually go up to my local Meyer and I get it from there. They sell it in, a, I believe it's a two and a half pound box and it's about 10 bucks, okay? Um, typically, I use satin ice, but you know, if I just need something, I see it locally, I'll just grab it. And they usually have it. So I'm gonna take this black fondant. We're gonna put a little bit of powdered sugar down. Now, when you're rolling out your fondant, you could either use powdered sugar or you could use cornstarch. Either one works, okay? No flour, this is not flour. Powdered sugar or cornstarch, okay? And see, that's one thing, like when I was asking you guys earlier, would you like an over voice or would you like to just really be in it with me talking? You know, because I don't want you, I definitely don't want you to think that that's flour, okay? Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm making a plaque because instead of writing happy birthday on the board, um, I'm going to put a plaque on the cake, happy birthday with his name, okay? And since it's blue at the top, we're going to go ahead, the, the top tier is blue, we're going to go ahead and use um, black. That way we're not really doing black on black. And this is the, the kind that I'm using. And I'm using a, the same thing, it's just smaller, okay? So I got my bigger piece and I gotta make sure that this piece fit my cake real good because it's kinda large. So you know me, we get into it and we get the wing in it. I do a lot of freestyle cakes, so now this one, like I said, they told me what they wanted, but for the most part, I do a lot of freestyle, so in my mind, my mind is always freestyling, if I'm honest. I'm so used to it. Okay, so we got that piece. I done had this cutter for a long time. It act like it need to be sharpened. Okay. I'm just pushing in a little bit of finding because it didn't make a real sharp cut like the other one. Just bringing its shape back, that's all. Now we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it right on top of the other one. Now, because remember I told you find that sticks by water. So I'm just using a little bit more of my extract because it's right here. And I'm just centering it. Boom, stick right away. We are gonna use this extract later with the silver. Okay, so now we got that piece made. That's the plaque that we're doing happy birthday on. So now that is all the pieces. All the pieces are done. So now let's finish this baby. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab the cake. Bring it back out here. I'm just tidying up a little bit. We're gonna grab the cake, bring it back out here. Get all of our pieces on, and then we're gonna move ahead to the next step, okay?
All right, guys. Now, let's go ahead with it. Now, what we got to do is dial the cake, okay? So, we're going to take our dowels. And what I use is bamboo skewers. They're pretty much skewers that you need if you're doing, um, like, shish kebabs or something like that. That's what I use. So, we're going to take it. Get them put in the cake. When you hear that sound, that means it, it went through all the boards and your cake ain't going nowhere, okay? Now, for a cake this size, I normally put about six of them at the bottom. And the five inch that's going on top is small. So, you could even get away with doing about four of them. Me, I'm just a little extra cautious. Now, this tool that I'm using right now, I got this from either Lowe's or Home Depot. It's one of those, um, this is like one of those clippers that, I don't know, you clip something on it, but you can find it. Um, you can see that? That's what it is. It's got yellow handles, and I only use it for cake, and I've been using it for years, and it's what I cut the skewers with. Now, when you cut these skewers, make sure you hold that skewer and then cut. Because if you don't hold it, oh, let me take that one right on out. If you don't hold it when you are cutting it, it will fly across the room. And if there's someone in the room with you, you can put their eye out. So since that one came out a little bit, I'm just going to take the back of another skewer and just push it back in. Push it back down, right into place. Okay. Now, we're going to hold this one and cut. I guess I was cutting too, ew, too pricey. Now, and then I just wipe it, cut. Just in case there's any little pieces of anything, I wipe. Because I don't want anything to be in the food. There's usually nothing there, but you never know sometimes. Okay, so we got all done. Okay, so that's why we do that. So now we got our six dials in and I just put it over there in the garbage bag, the garbage bowl. Now we're going to take our top tier. We're going to take our scissors and just cut all the way around. Just putting that in the garbage bowl and we're cutting all the way around this board. We're just cut cutting the board up to the cake. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the cake because I want to pick which is my front, which is the side that I want to be the front. Because we're putting pictures around and we're putting them around in a frame, let me see. Let's take one of the pictures that we're putting around and make sure that it's a, and we can actually use the piece of fondant just to make sure that it's a good size for our cake. Yes, it's perfect. Okay, so we want to pick the side that's going to be the front of our cake, the side that I like, that looks the best to me, that I'm calling the front. Okay, this side that's facing me is the front, so I'm going to take a little bit of buttercream. Put it right there at the front. See that? I got the buttercream down there, right there. That way I know that's the front of my cake. I don't have to think about the front anymore. So I'm gonna turn it to me. I'm gonna push this cake off the table with my skewer, get it back in my hand, and then I'm gonna pick the front of this cake. Okay. This is the front. So what I do is I just, wait a minute. Is that the front? Yep. Yeah. 
this is the front and I'm just gonna drop it okay because I don't want my finger stuck in there I don't want to pull out the buttercream from just trying to sit it too carefully and I'm just moving it over just a little bit so it'll be even on both sides and I'm just using the back of the skewer and just pushing the cake over And I'm going to move it over just a little bit more. Okay, that's um, position. Now, we're going to take a taller school skewer. This was a little bit shorter. Now, I'm going to take another skewer. It's a little bit taller. And because it needs to go down through both cakes, okay? So... Get it down through both of the cakes and you hear that sound that means it went through both of the cakes and it went through the board at the bottom okay so we got that and we only need three this is a small cake so now we're going to take our cutter again hold it cut hold it cut cut all right, now we got some holes in the top from cutting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our buttercream that we used earlier, the blue buttercream, and we're gonna put it right at the top and we're gonna close in those holes that we put there. Now there is a way that you can do this where you won't even get holes. The board that the cake is actually on, you could take that in particular board and penetrate it and put your holes in ahead of time okay and then you could skewer take the big skewer put it through um the bottom cake and let me show you and that means that this skewer like you take this skewer put it all the way through the bottom cake and then this will be sitting out and then you could put the board on with the holes already in it and put the cake on down that way Okay, and then that way you won't have to do nothing at the top. And the, and the skewer will be already down in the board and it'll go right through this cake as well. But only do that if your cake is cold, okay? And I personally would only do that if, not only if my cake was cold, um, if it's a buttercream cake, I'ma say, don't just make it cold, make it frozen, okay? Just to make sure there's, there's no mistakes. But, like I said, you know, doing this here, I only, this only take a few seconds to just close back up the hole. Just that easy, and the hole is closed, okay? All right. Now, we got our two-tier set up, okay? Now, let's go ahead and... Put all the pieces around the side, get the borders on and get it finished up. So now, first thing I'm gonna do is take the plaque that we made earlier with the two black pieces. This is my top and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it. And now putting the plaque on, my plaque, turn it around a little bit so you can see it. My plaque is bigger than my cake. So to remedy that, we're gonna take our finding cutter, which is just a piece of cutter, piece of cutter, finding cover, whatever, Dollar Tree. I got this from the Dollar Tree years and years ago. They last forever, guys. Piece of cutter, finding cutter, whatever you wanna call it. So now what I'm gonna do is just cut my plaque down. Right on the, right at the piece that's gonna be at the bottom to, to try to make, I need to turn it around because I don't wanna make no mistakes, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it down a little bit more. Cause all I'm doing is cutting it down so that it'll, it'll actually fit my cake. Okay, now it fits my cake. So I'm just adhering it and putting it on. Now I'm gonna take a skewer and push the bottom part on. This isn't a fondant cake, as you know, this is buttercream, so. And this cake 
is not, it's cold, but it's not frozen. It's not super cold. So if I make any mistakes, it'll show. We can fix it, but it will, but we will have to fix it. And we just wanna keep it moving. All right, so we got our plaque on the K. Boom, okay. Now we're gonna adhere our pictures. And all I'm gonna do is take those finding plaques that we made earlier and just put them on. Then we'll go back and adhere the pictures. So I'm gonna take the, all the pictures off. And we got the other picture here. And I'm just gonna center those, put three in the front, just frame those out. So I'm gonna put the first one on. Actually, we got a big, a big, if you can see it, this is why, this is why, and this one is skinny. So, so it will make sense. Let's move it over so you can see it. See how this one is kind of fat? This one is kind of fat and this one is skinny. Don't do fat, fat, skinny. You know, you know, even though we're following a picture, but these weren't on there and you still got to be a decorator too. You know, you don't want to do fat, fat, skinny. You want to um, bring it together. Make it look as good as you can. So I'm going to take the skinny one, since that's going to be in the center, and I'm going to center it first. Put it right on first. And I'm not going to put it all the way at the bottom because I got to put a border on. Okay. So we got the first one on. And then I made it a contrasting color because I, I wanted some pop. This cake is kind of, I know it's got a little light blue on it, but it's kind of dark to me. And I guess anime, maybe that's the character. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the next one on. And I'm just going to leave just a little bit of space in between them because this is a small cake. And I want the, the pictures to kind of be, you know, together in the front where you can see them. So that's the second one. Now we're gonna put one more on this side. Give it just a little bit of frame. Put that piece on. Okay, now. Now we got all three pieces on, okay? Now, we're gonna take the pieces. Now, we know the skinny one is the one that go in the center. We're gonna take it off his backing. Take a spatula, get a little bit of buttercream. Wipe a little bit of buttercream across the picture. You don't need a lot. And then, we're gonna go ahead and adhere the picture right to the frame. Okay, there you go. First picture on. Now we're gonna take one of the other pictures, take off the back end again. We're gonna go ahead and take both of them off this time so we can just go on and knock them, put that in our garbage bowl. Put some buttercream on the back. Some buttercream on the back of this one. If you put too much, just, you know, kind of use your scraper to scrape it off. Now, we're gonna adhere the picture. Make sure we're adhering it to the right square. If this ain't the one that you did, just take it off, which I'm, I need to take it off and move it up a little bit. Take it off, move it up now. Okay, and here it. Then we're gonna take the other one and here and here it to this side. Okay, that's why. 
See, I was making it fit the other one, but that ain't the right spot. This picture is the one for this spot. Let me see. Oh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. I need a little bit more buttercream, guys. I don't got enough. Just put a little bit more on this one too. Get the corners. And see, here are pictures. Yep. There they go. Get that on. Smooth it around. Take this one. I'm gonna take it off a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's what's wrong. <laughs> Y'all get to see it. This picture is the one that we had decided to be up top. So it actually goes right down here on that plaque. That's why I wouldn't fit because it wasn't for that one. So let's take the backing off of this one because this is the one that goes there. You know me, I was trying to make it fit but this real, y'all, we doing this together. Okay, now this one goes here. Yep. That one goes there. Okay. Clean up a little bit of the buttercream. See that? Now we got all three of our pictures on. Okay. We got our picture here that's framed out. Okay. Let me just cut. I want to straighten out my frame just a little bit. I want it to look a little bit better than that. frame. Now we're going to take this one and adhere it right at the top. Now it's on the top. I'm going to push it down just a little bit. Just adhering it in the cake zone. Now we got it framed out. It don't look like it's just a picture sitting up there. You know what I mean? So, and remember those holes that we closed in the back? See how you can't see any white? Okay, so now this little piece that we had up here earlier, this is our, that we're wiping that, that we wiped that black off with. Now we can get rid of that spot telling us where the front is. So now I'm just kind of going around hitting my board one more time. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pipe our border around the top and bottom, write happy birthday, put some silver splashes on it, and it's done. So we're gonna take our bag. I got my garbage ball right here. Let's move it a little closer to me. And I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of the blue out just to get a little bit of, a little bit of the air out of the bag. It's got a little hole in this bag, but that's okay. So now I'm just gonna go around the cake and put our border on. And I always like to start at the back with my border. Just in case, you know, you're pushing the air out the bag and if all the air didn't come out, you don't want it to splatter and it'd be right in front of your cake. You know what I mean? Push a little bit more. Sometimes, too, when you're pushing out of this bag, and y'all know I made my buttercream from scratch. Um, when you're pushing out of this bag as well, sometimes it might be a little bit of powdered sugar that, you know, maybe got stuck when you was um, making the icing. 
so you might have to push through that. It doesn't happen often, but if I'm keeping it 100, it does happen sometimes. Okay, so we're going to... We almost got our bottom bead done. It doesn't need to be super big. Small cake. Okay, now we're gonna put our top of our top one on. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger than the bottom because we got a lot of trim from the other cake. We we in the home stretch, y'all. All right, now we got our border on. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna bring the border all the way across. Remember we, where, we, where we put the flying plaque on? I want the border to be on that part as well. Okay. We got our top and bottom border on. We got our picture on. We got our frames in the front. Now, we are going to write happy birthday. You see, in some of the areas, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of powder sugar. There's some powder sugar on the back. What I do for that is I just take a little bit of um, canola oil or vegetable oil and I just dip my brush in it and go around and hit those spots. You can also take a steamer and do that, but a lot of times I don't like to pull out the steamer when I'm messing with a buttercream cake because I don't want to heat up buttercream, if that makes sense. So I don't have my um vegetable oil in here with me so i'm gonna go ahead take a little break guys run and get it get the cake all shined up write happy birthday and everything and then i'll be right back to show you guys the finishes okay be right back all right guys i'm back we got our vegetable oil i'm just gonna Dip it in the vegetable oil and just kind of go around the cake and clean up any powdered sugar that I see going around the cake. You can either pour it in a little separate bowl or you can just dip in it. And I use this for cake, so that's what it's for so I just buy a big one and I know that it's for my cakes for any shine so that's what I'm gonna be doing with this so you can do it that way or you can get like a little cup or something which is fine as well this is the brush that I use when I'm doing it and so all I'm doing is just going around, cleaning up any powdered sugar that I see. And like I said, you know, um, you can also steam your cake, but I don't like to steam buttercream, you know, because it's already buttercream. I don't want to heat up the buttercream, if that makes sense. So I'm just going around all the pictures, being careful not to hit the cake and just getting any, any powdered sugar or anything that's on my design, getting it off. That way it looks clean and professional. Okay, all right. So I got all the powdered sugar a little bit up here. All right, so we got all that. Now I'm gonna put the top back on it. Put it over to the side. Okay, so now we're gonna write happy birthday and her name is Deshaya, D-A-S-H-A. D-A-S-H-A. 
I A. D A S H I A. Hold on, let me write it on my table here. D A S H I A. Deshaya. I actually um called because called my client because she only wanted happy birthday and I just got off the phone with her um asking her uh if she wanted her name on a cake. Turns out um this is a girl's cake. I thought it was for a boy, but this is for a girl. Her name is Deshaya and she said D-A-S-H-I-A. So let's write happy birthday, Deshaya. And if I'm honest, I do not like writing on cakes. But the picture that she gave me, the cake was written on. It, but and it's you know, it's her cake, so gotta make the client happy. All right. Ooh. So we got that. Happy birthday, Deshaya. Okay. This is exactly what she wanted. Now, let's go ahead and put the silver on the cake so we can get it boxed up and get it to the client. So I'm just using a little bit of the lemon extract and I'm using some silver luster dust. I keep mine in a cup. I'm gonna take our silver brush, mix it up a little bit. Now, the back of this, where we had to kind of add some fondant, I'm just gonna kinda throw a little splashes on the back. And we're putting a few splashes on the cake. A few on the top here. These are our finishing touches, the splashes. Just make sure you have enough of your um, lemon extract. Then I'm just gonna kinda hit, hit it with my brush. I'm kinda touching the cake now for like in between the frames. Kinda hitting the cake here and there. So this is kind of a dark cake to me. So I'm just kind of touching it with my brush now, here and there. No buttercream is coming off. Hit it between the frames. Hit it on this side a little bit more. This is messy, guys. But are you really decorating if you don't make a little bit of a mess? All right, now let me turn it around, see the front. Okay, now what I want to do is take my brush and just kind of, I feel like the plaque needs a little something, so I'm just going to kind of edge the plaque up a little bit with our silver to 
special so it can come to the party because it's just sitting there all black and everything else got the silver on it now. This was not on her cake, but this my cake until she gets it. <laughs> so I just want to bring it up just a little bit. I'm taking carte blanche on this. Add just a little bit. I'm pretty sure they'll appreciate it, especially now since I know that this is a girl's cake. I'm going to hit her name just a little bit because I want to put some silver on her name as well. I usually don't write on my cakes at all unless it's like a sheet cake or something like that. I don't really like to write on a design. I don't write on the board or stuff like that, but I don't typically like to write on a cake. I'm just hitting, hitting it with a little bit of Just a little bit of silver. Just adding a little bit to the name. Okay. Yeah. I feel like he needed that. All right. So that is it, guys. Let's turn this cake around. See that? That's our anime cake. Happy birthday to Shia. We got the picture framed out up front. Our back is simple with just some splashes. And I wish I could throw some bows on and some diamonds and stuff like that, but this is the cake that she sent me. It's not a freestyle design of mine. I did add a little bit of silver to the name or whatnot, but for the most part, this is the picture that she sent me. Okay, guys, that is it for us today um, for the two-tier anime cake. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have a blessed and prosperous weekend, and enjoy this beautiful day. Bye.